Hello guys, today we are going to create constraints for the buildings. Before moving further make sure to hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also support me on Patreon. I'm going to release the Vellum Multilayer Cloth Sim after this RBD tutorial. Let's dive into Houdini. In the previous tutorial, we had object merge all our building parts. Let's first start with concrete. For your information I learned this constraints method from Applied Houdini, I will share the link to the course in the description. To create constraints we are going to use connect adjacent pieces node. Change the connection type to adjacent pieces from surface points. We need to increase the search radius because if you see, the interior floor ground that we had created is not getting connected to the exterior walls. This will result into fall immediately once the simulation start. Increase the search radius to 1. As you can see now it gets connected to exterior walls. We need more constraints. Let's increase the max connection to 10. Take an RBD constraint properties node. Connect the output of the adjacent piece to second inputs of RBD constraint. Increase the strength to 20,000 and propagation iteration to 2. Now take a glue cluster node. This node helps for creating chunks of pieces. Increase the internal strength to 10,000. Internal strength means the cluster which is of the same color will have 10,000 glue strength. Increase the size to 4.4 along all axis. Now take a primitive wrangle and write this code. Click this button to create the parameter. Copy the internal strength parameter and paste into the wrangle. As you can see we had set the strength value to 20,000 in the RBD constraints node. The glue constraint is overridden by the internal strength and cluster to cluster strength parameter. What does cluster to cluster mean? If you see the constraints closely we had so many colors. Each color represents different chunks that we called here cluster. So the attaching point of two different clusters is named as a cluster to cluster. To understand it more clearly take a blast node and write this in the group. These constraints have the strength of 1, which will get easily break from normal impact. But the internal cluster has a strength of 10,000, which required quite a strong force to get broke. When the big chunks get to fall on the ground, we will see secondary fractures taking place in one simulation with the help of glue constraints. So here in Wrangle, this code simply adds an attribute name external which has a strength of less than 10,000. Now let's create glass constraints. Take connect adjacent pieces node. Change the connection type to adjacent pieces from surface points. Take an RBD constraint properties node. Set the strength to 1.
Now let's create window frame constraints. Take connect adjacent pieces node. Change the connection type to adjacent pieces from surface points. Take an RBD constraint properties node. Set the strength to 5. Now let's create constraints for metal. Take connect adjacent pieces node. Change the connection type to adjacent pieces from surface points. Take a facet node and turn on unique points. Now take a primitive properties node. Turn on do transformation. Set the scale value to 0 along all axis. This will move the point to its centroid or you can call pivot. We can't see anything on the viewport, but if you toggle on point view then we can see point are there. If you want to see what actually happens, take a blend shape node. Connect facet and primitive to blend shape inputs. If you increase the blend value then you see the points are getting collapsed to its centroid. Take an RBD constraint properties node. Change the constraint type to hard. Keep everything default. Now for the pipes copy the whole node of metal and paste it. In the RBD constraints node, change the constraint type to soft. Increase the stiffness to 50. Since we had fractured every part separately, we need to make in-between constraints for each part. Remember we had created an attribute name RBD name. Now, this attribute will come into use. Merge all the object merge nodes. Take connect adjacent pieces node. Change the connection type to adjacent pieces from surface points. Now turn on find boundary connection. In the cluster attribute select rbd underscore name. Now you can see each part is not attached to the wall. Take an RBD constraint properties node. Set the strength to 10. Merge all the constraints. Let's see whether the name attribute is matching or not. Cool, it's matching. Now we need to make some groups which will have strength value more. Take a group node and set the group name to harden. Turn off the base group and turn on keep in bounding regions. While doing RND I found the suitable value for this box placement. Set the size to 23, 57, 87. Center the box to 59, 25, minus 31.3. Now make the duplicate of the group node and change the initial merge to union with the existing. Set the size to 50, 46, 87. 
center the box to 50, 32, minus 31.3. Now take a primitive wrangle and write this code. In the group select Harden. We are going to multiply the strength value by 20 for the constraint which is present in Harden group. Now take an RBD configure node. Connect the constraint to second input. In the first input connect the merge node. Now if you see before configuring, we were not having packed objects for each piece, and the name attribute was present on primitive level. After RBD configure, we have packed the object and the name attribute is present on point level. Take a box and set this size. Again this value I find while doing RND. Set the size to 19.5,3,40. 40. Center to 61,1, minus 10. Now in the configure node, turn on active and set the value to 0. Turn on use bound. Connect the box to the fourth input of configure the node. Now the pieces we are lying inside the box will have an active value of 0, this piece ain't gonna be active throughout the simulation. Now we need to create a meta ball force. Take a meta ball node. Set the radius value to 18,5.8,18. Center to 31.8,2.5, minus 9.6. Take a force node and turn on the radial force. Set the force value to minus 1. We need the meta ball only to appear on one frame. To do this take a switch node and a null node. Write this in select input. Now the meta ball will only appear in frame 3. Add a null and that's it for today. Tomorrow I will release another tutorial for simulation. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also support me on Patreon.